Greetings, this is Matthew Hillier from the University of Adelaide. I'm going to give you a quick run through of LAMS, the Learning Activity Management System, which is an open source package developed by Macquarie University. Now, if you don't have an account on the LAMS demonstration server, you can sign up using the form at demo.lamscommunity.org. However, since I already have an account, I'm going straight to the login page. Um, I've logged in already. Um, and now I'm at the default page for your account. Now to create a new lesson, you need to go up towards the top right hand corner and click on the blue author tab. This will load up the LAMS composition authoring area. Let me just resize the window to get it into view properly. Now what we have here is a blank, a blank region and we can start creating our learning sequence immediately. On the uh, left hand side here you'll see a um, number of objects. These are all learning objects or learning activities that you can add into your sequence. So for example let's start out by creating a notice board. Now the notice board object represents any sort of reading materials or web pages that you might want to give your students. Now at the moment this one is selected as it's got the blue uh, dot 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 line around it. If I right click on a selected object, I can open or edit content. When we do that, we'll be able to see the composition window. We can give the item a title, and we can also add some content in here. Now, the content, as I was saying before, can be anything. You can add images, text, links. In fact, it can appear as a regular web page if you wish. You can also choose to uh, edit any sort of advanced options. Each, each one of these learning objects have got a different set of advanced options as we'll see when we go through. Uh, there's also some instructions you can provide here as well for your students. I'll cancel out that one. Now to add another one, for example, let's have a question and answer session. Drag that up onto the composition area. And as you can see that one is highlighted. I'll just add a couple more here. Perhaps after a question and answer session, we might want our students to put some things into their notebook. Then we might get them to do a spreadsheeting activity. And followed by a chat session, a chat and scribe session, which comes out as a, a block. If you just want a normal chat session, you can use the other object here. And finally, let's finish off with an assessment item, like so. Now, in order to indicate the sequence between these objects, we use the transition button at the top. Click on that one. Our cursor becomes a pen icon. And then we can draw lines across between our different objects on the screen or our different learning activities. We can also hold the control key down. That will turn our cursor into a pen and we can draw lines that way as well, which is probably faster than using the button. Once we've completed, we now have a learning sequence. And we can select each one of our objects, our learning activities, and we can right click, use open with, open edit the activity, and we can go and add our instructions and things inside here. As I mentioned before, each one of these has slightly different settings, so we can see in advance this time. There's different sorts of things we can establish in here. If I go back to basic, I can create a question. I click on the create question button. Down at the top there's instructions. If we scroll down, you will see the rules to compose our question in here. Create a question. I will see the question, but nevertheless, in feedback. Let's add that to the collection. So now we can see we've got two questions in there. We can save it. And now we can either choose to go back to re-edit or we can just close the window as we wish. And similarly we go through to each one of these objects, click on it to select it with the blue border, right click, open with edit activity. Again we can add instructions for their notebook. Um, we can provide them with a rich text editor in this case and we can lock it up when we're finished. Uh, again we can give instructions to students.
now the spreadsheet option. Again, let's try editing that one. This provides a basic spreadsheet capability online. You can see there there's a spreadsheet space that you can fill in. Again, there's some advanced settings and some instructions that you can provide. We'll just cancel out that one. And again, similarly with the chat function over here, we can do our settings for our chat and describe, and we can do settings for assessment. If you wanted students to submit files externally, we also have a submit files option down here as well. You can get them to send files in. Let's just say we want to do that over here. Now that I've added this new one over here, I'd like to integrate that into the sequence. I can remove existing elements by dragging and dropping them down into the trash can and using Control key to draw new links between the new object. Now once we're happy with our learning sequence, we can save it and it will automatically save into your own folder. Okay, I'll stop it here and I'll make, see you in the next video about importing and sharing your uh, labs activity sequences.